Welcome to Moo Moo Math and adding and subtracting decimals. Let's look at the steps. First, step one is you always line up the decimals. Two, you fill in zeros as placeholders at the end, especially as subtracting. You add or practice subtraction, and then you bring the decimal down. So let's get started with a couple of examples. Okay, number one, we have 16.75 plus 5.091. I'm going to rewrite it in a form that makes it a little bit easier and I can line the decimals up. So now 5.091, I need to line the decimals up. So it would be 0, 9, 1, and then I'm going to add a 0 here as a placeholder to make it a little uh, easier to see. Now this is subtract, excuse me, this is addition. So I just merely add 1 plus 0 is 1. 9 plus 5 is 14. Remember to carry the 1. 7 plus 1 is 8. Bring down the decimal. Okay. 6 plus 5 is 1. Carry the 10 over. Actually, it's 11. Carry the 10 over. So that becomes 21.84. Notice I lined up the decimals and then just merely add. Let's go ahead and look at another addition. 49. And I'm going to go ahead and write a decimal there because we know any number where there's not a decimal, it's always at the end. And I'm going to add a couple of zeros. And then we have 0, excuse me, 7.83. Notice that the decimals are lined up. Now we just, this is addition, so I'm just going to add 3 plus 0 is 3. 8 plus 0 is 8. 9 plus 7, bring down the decimal. 9 plus 7 is 16. Carry the 1. 4 plus 1 is so that is 56.83. Now let's get to a couple of subtraction problems. Okay, why don't I go ahead and work this one first? 29.1 minus 3.068. I'm going to rewrite the 29.1 minus 3. Point, notice I've lined up the decimal 0.68. And you can see this is where adding some zeros uh, will really help as placeholders, makes it a little bit easier to subtract. So I'm going to add 0, 0. Now we have 8 minus 0. So it needs to borrow, but it can't borrow 1 from next door because it's a 0. So we got to borrow it from the 1 way over here. So this becomes a 0. This will become a 9 because this 0 needs to borrow 1. Okay? So you can't borrow from a 0. It borrowed from the 1. And then this guy borrowed from this one, so it becomes a 9, and that becomes a 10. Now, 8, excuse me, 10 minus 8 is 2. 9 minus 6 is 3. 0 minus 0 is 0. Bring down the decimal. 9 minus 3 is 6, and we can bring down the 2. So we get 26.032. Okay, that's a little tricky. Just remember, you cannot borrow anything from a zero. Okay, and finally, let's work one more example. I'll rewrite this one. 90. I'm going to add a couple zeros at the end. Here's your decimal. 6.2. Okay, and I guess I really don't need that zero there. Okay, zero needs to borrow some from this zero, which can't do that, so this is going to become an 8. This 0 will become a 9, and this will become a 10. Okay? 10 minus 2 is 8. 9 minus 6 is 3. Be careful, bring down the decimal. Okay? And then this is 8. So that becomes 83.8. Okay? In summary, remember, always line up the decimals. Then you just subtract normally. Remember, you cannot... Uh, zero, you cannot borrow one from another zero. You have to move down the line. And hope that helps with adding and subtracting decimals. Moo Moo Math uploads a new math video every day. Thanks for watching.